everyone. This is Dr. Robinson today here with Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Hello. Okay, so today Lucas is going to take us through Canvas so everyone can learn the commands. And I'm going to start for uh, everyone who's like a beginner and how you learn about a page. So Lucas, the first thing we always do, as we know, we always go through our insert of five. We're going to do that first, then our insert of six, and then our insert of seven. So you can see your page first before you move around. Now, when you do your insert of five, you always want to listen to, is this a radial button? Because that's A. Is it a button, which is going to be B? Or is it a checkbox, which is going to be X? And so on. So you're going to answer that five, and as you down arrow through all your items, really Alt show eyes, viewing menus, dashboard, dash Google Chrome, dashboard, dash Alt Google Alt Chrome, Alt tabbing to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, insert F5, let's start there, and you're gonna down arrow to all your items. Build dialog, list one, list view, account button, one of 16. Okay. Courses button, two of 16. Keep Help on. button, three of 16. Minimize global navigation button, four of 16. Close button, five of 16. Close button, six of 16. Dashboard options button, seven of 16. Choose a color or course nickname. Remove course card for fall 2020 chemist. Dismiss welcome to Chem 210. Button 9 of 16. Dismiss Chem 210 F 2020 button 10 of 16. And these are nuts. Go ahead and stop Come there on. because uh, underneath of it is all the dismisses and right. you already know how to get there. So you're listing, wowza, do we have buttons on here? So that means you can either do insert F5 and just do first letter navigation, which is going to be faster to get to the item you want. Like if we wanted to get to your courses, we could just hit C. So just hit C so you can pop up there. B. C. B. C. C. <laughs> Try that again. C, courses button, two of 16. Okay. Uh... And don't worry, I'll edit this part out. We need to work on your keyboarding. <laughs> Sorry, I get nervous and I don't type that well. <laughs> don't worry, we can edit this out. I know, I always tell whatever you want, whenever you, whenever I have the kids, because you're going to get to the point where I'm going to say, please record this. And so they're going to record the goof and the kids will say, cut that. And then they just start talking again. Okay? Okay. <laughs> that's how we do it, because I can edit all of this out. Three, six of eight. And that's your class, correct? Yes. Yeah, and it's heading level three. So Ooh. we could hit H, but unfortunately we're gonna have to hit H at least six times to get down there, or we can use the number three. But once again, when you first get to a page, you always wanna do your insert of five, insert of six, insert of seven. So we have one more to do. So hit escape out of there. Right now we're triggered. Okay, yeah. that looks best. Insert of seven now, so we can look at all your links. Links list dialog. Links list view. Skip the content. One of twenty-five. The yeah. move to the dashboard. Two yeah. of twenty-five. Lots of dashboards. So you'll notice it's it's your form fields. It's in your headings and it's in your links. Down arrow. Dashboard. Three of twenty-five. Calendar. Four of twenty-five. Okay. Fifty-seven unread messages. Woo! Inbox. Five we of have got the messages to read it. Answer. Continue to down arrow. Studio, 6 of 25. Enroll and training links to an external site, 7 of 25. Enroll and training yeah. links to an external site, and 8 of 25. And I'm going to stop right there because you, you get the idea. You can go back to your links list and you can down arrow throughout it all because the point is, let's go ahead and get into the class. And then if we have time, let's go ahead and answer a few emails also so you can uh, show the audience how to do that. And then, of course, you can continue doing your inbox. Do you want to do your inbox first or your class? So, I'm going to be honest with you, my inbox, I don't think I'll have actually anything to reply to. I think they're all, like, notification messages. Or do you they're know how to get in there and answer them, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> Back so, to the question. So, which do you want to do first, your inbox or your class? Uh, let's do inbox first. Okay, sounds good. So let's go ahead and just go right up arrow to 57, or you can just hit the number five. Remember, first letter navigation. Five, 
5700 messages inbox nice. 525 and enter enter dashboard dash google chrome https colon slash slash up dot instructure dot com slash conversations dash google chrome inbox yep now once you get on so this the navigation and and this is basic navigation like when you go into file explorer or you're saving or you're opening or anything like that your navigation is on the left and your list view is on the right. So we just tab over to our items tab. Banner region, skip the content, same page link. Yeah, enter. Let's skip to the main content. Enter, main region, main yeah. region. Tab. Banner region, filter messages by course, all courses button menu. Tab one time. Combo box, inbox, to change the selection, use the arrow keys. Yeah. Now let's talk about this. Combo box is the letter C, so you don't always have to tab over there. But remember, this is only visible when you're in your inbox. If you hit space bar, you can down arrow to all your other options. So hit space bar so you can see what's in your space inbox. Space expanded, list with six arrow. items. In unread, to move mm -hmm. to an item, press start, to move to an item, sent, to move to an item, press the arrow key. Archived to move to an item, press it. Submission comments to move to an item, press okay. So when you're on the bottom, you notice you can't go any farther. Well, you probably just want to do unread, right? Instead of having, I don't know, you'll have 400 emails in there. Do you really want to go through all your emails or you just want, because that's inbox, which you're on right now, or do you just want to go to your unread items? Unread. Okay, up arrow to unread. Archived, sent, to start, unread, to move to an item, press the arrow keys. And you must hit enter to enter, change Filter that conversations by type combo box, unread. Okay, let's continue to tab. Compose a new message button to activate, it, press enter. That's pretty explanatory. Maybe we should compose first, uh, just to walk through that. I don't know if you can email me, and you may not know anybody, so how about we just hit spacebar to compose, and we'll just... Base, close button to activate, press enter. Okay, tab. Select course colon the selection is required before recipients field will yeah. become available button menu. Okay, uh, you should be, you should be able to down arrow if you can't, you have to hit space bar first. Subject. Yep, up arrow. Select course colon the selection is required is. before recipient <laughs> field will become available button space menu. <laughs> select, select course checked, one and of one. Arrow. Favorite courses button menu. Okay, and you can go ahead and just down arrow again or right arrow. Fall 2020 chemistry 210 section 001. And that's how you find it. Yep. Uh, every computer works slightly differently, so you just know that down arrow didn't work, so you right arrow would work perfectly. Hit enter on fall chemistry. Enter, leaving menu. Fall 2020 professor. chemistry 210 section 001 found analytical chemistry yep. button menu. Press space to activate the menu, then navigate with arrow keys. Tab to your two box. Column 202. The okay. colon What's left the name of your uh, professor? The recipients. Press the down arrow to navigate the results. Is if Dr. you don't Sharma find an uh, Sharman, with a C or an S? Sharma with a S. Okay, hit S because it should start populating. S expanded list with 20 items. Shem yeah. 210 section 001 has pop up one of 20. To move to an item, press the arrow key. Now, the complete has 20 entries listed. Use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to a Wait, list. Yeah, he's just telling you, you can go ahead and down arrow right now. The more letters you type in, though, the shorter the populace of items. So just down okay. arrow quickly, just so you can see. Yeah, that's Abbas. Two of 20. Your whole Adam. class. Three. Taylor Alderson. Yeah. Four of 20. Taylor Samuel Lee Andrews. Five of twenty. Samuel Lee Andrews. Taylor Alder. Corbin Adams. So Fiat I'm this learning Abbas. if Sharma Two of 20. is C. Yeah, that's Abbas. Let me... Can I can I type an H to see if I can get another letter? Absolutely. Now, let me tell you, all you have to do is hit H. Your cursors are split right now. A lot of people don't realize this. Your writing cursor has not budged out of the two. And your navigation cursor is in your drop-down list box. So as soon as you hit H, your list box will change and your navigation will still be there. So just hit H. H, the colon Beautiful. left there and start typing to choose recipients. Press the down arrow to... Joshua Samuel Darlington. Down arrow. 
Joshua Sahage Marsh, Bavia Sharma. Three of four. Okay. Bavia Beautiful. Sharma. Beautiful. And you are absolutely correct. Why listen to your teacher when she doesn't know how, how the professor's name is spelled? Hit enter. Enter to call nice. and there and start okay. typing the choose recipients. Press the down arrow to navigate the results. Okay. If you, you don't can hush them up because I think you got the idea. So it's all you have to do is start typing it. It starts populating, and you also discovered the more letters you know, the shorter the list is that you go down. Easy, easy, easy. So, of course, whenever you have any issues, you're going to want to uh, write her and tell I her. I actually write an email right now asking about JAWS and the lockdown browser. I was just going to say that. <laughs> we should write that. Tab to subject. I do want you to make note of if you need to attach something, like attach work. That's all you have to do, okay? Hit enter on send button. Enter inbox main Beautiful. region, banner region, compose a new message okay. button to activate, press enter. Let's keep tabbing. Search region, search by user edit, search names, yep. group, messages list with 10 items, select conversation crowd. Okay, now we, we want to go ahead and tab just to practice Market red check box check to clear check mark, press space bar. Yep, let's go ahead and tab again. Not start, quote, crowd, quote, okay. click if to start. If this is not something not important, you can star it, okay? Shift tab back and let's hit enter and open the email. Mark as red checkbox checked, a clear check mark, press space bar. Uh, I want you to down arrow. I want to listen to how this is set up. Mark as red checkbox checked. Down arrow. And red. Down arrow. April 11. 2019 to 1014 p.m. in level 2 Gyanomoy. That's what I want to hear. Yep. So, can you enter on that? How come Jaws went to like... Enter. Jaws cursor. Oh. Now, I want to see if it popped your cursor over into the page. I don't think it did. Down arrow one time. One total messages. One total message. Okay. Control end. Control end. Main region end. Up arrow. List end. Yep, that's it. Up arrow. Joy. Yep, up arrow. Blank. Up. Best. Yep. Blank. Thanks for understanding. Okay. Yeah. End. Up arrow. We're already in. So what you want to do is you want to delete this message once you do it. Now, I heard list when you popped over here. When you get to a page, you always want to hear what it's saying. So the next time we do this, we're going to hit L for list. If you do, did control end to get to this, shift X. Select conversation yeah. group me, checkbox not checked. Space, Space check message again. list with nine X. items. Select again. conversation group me, checkbox checked, a clear check mark press. What do I need to do now? Okay, so we're going to check all these boxes. You're going to hit X and then hit space to check it. You're going to hit X to the next one and space bar to check it. X to the next one and space bar to check it. Okay? Mark as red check box checked. Keep going. Oh. Not start. Quote group me. Quote. Click to start. Select conversation. My notes till today's lecture. Check box not checked. Check space. it. Space. Select X conversation. Again. My notes. Mark as red check not start. Select conversation important colon provide your student ID checkbox space. Select conversation X. important Again. colon mark as not start. Select conversation okay. deadline extension for space. Okay. Select now, conversation on deadline your own, extension for final project checkbox checked. A clear on check your own, I want you to get rid of all these old messages, okay? So they're not cluttering your box. Insert F5 and go ahead and just hit D for delete to get rid of them. But you have to check them. Delete the form you. field dialog. List one, list view. Select conversation deadline extend S. Select okay. conversation. D. Delete selected yeah. button. 11 Enter. of 52. Enter. A clear check mark. Enter. Uck.instructure.com yeah. says. Uck.instructure.com sure? says to cancel but OK button to activate. Press space bar. Space. In box. Google now. Chrome. Main region. Okay, nice. region. Compose a new message button. Okay. Uh, we know uh, we our class was in Insert F5 and Insert F6, but we liked Insert F6 better. So you're going to Insert F6, and you're going to go back to your courses. Insert Heading list insert. dialog. Headings list view. Inbox colon 1C. Hmm. Because you're on the headings list of just this page. Man. Yeah. And you can actually down arrow and get to your messages even faster if you wanted to do it that way. Can on Lucas Wade Lucasio. Escape. 
Escape to activate okay. press enter. I'm going to show you a different way to do this now. I want you to go ahead and control home. Inbox. Tab. Banner region. Skip the content. Nope. Same page link. Tab. Global navigation yep. region. Dashboard link. Global navigation region. And you saw how fast this is. Tab. List with seven items. Account button to yeah. activate. Press enter. Notice buttons. Tab again. Um, dashboard link. Dashboard link. Down arrow or tab. Courses button. Get courses, which is what you want, right? Yes. Yes. So remember, it's control home. Tab into your major navigation region. Okay, enter on your courses. Enter courses trade dialog. Close button to activate. Press enter. Tab. List with one items. Fall 2020 chemistry 210 right. section 001. Enter. Enter. Fall 2020 nice. chemistry 210 section 001 found analytical chemistry dash Google Chrome. Fall 2020 chemistry 210 section 001 found yeah, analytical fun. chemistry. Fall. Okay, tab. Banner region. Skip the content. Same yes. page link. Now you want to skip the content. Your major navigation region never, ever changes. You will always have account, dashboard, courses, calendar, inbox, studio, help. Always. That will never change. But every time you hit enter on one of those items, your whole list view area changes. So you tab once, skip to main content, and it pops you over into all your major region. So hit enter to skip to main content, and you'll pop into right into your page. Enter main region. Main region. So, oh, could you also hit R here for region? Yes! Woo! 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 Nice job! You're listening. Go ahead and tab. Course modules. Lecture 1 dash August 20th, 2020. Uh, yeah. Lecture 1 dash list with four items. Lecture 1 underline shem 210 underline two slides per page dot PDF okay. link. Lecture PDF. 1 underline shem 2. I need to show you how to make PDFs accessible. But before I move you away from this, I want you to pull up your links list because this links list will take you to all your other major links list components. dialog, links list view, lecture one underline gem two hundred ten okay. underline three slides for page H for not. home. H home unavailable eight of thirty six. Okay, down arrow. Zoom nine of thirty six. Just listen to all of these down arrow. Vital Source Bookshelf, 10 of 36. Million Learning, 11 of 36. Like, go to one of these. Keep going down. Announcements, 12 of 36. Assignments, 13 of 30. Yep. Grade, 14 of 36. Modules, 15 of 36. Files, 16 of 36. Quizzes, 17 okay. of 36. And then, when you down arrow, you actually get to your work. Lecture 1 underline gem 210 underline 2. Lecture 1 ah, underline gem 210 underline 2 slides per page. Because you don't have to memorize H for home. But what you do is when you would hit R for main region or you tab once to skip to main content, this is where it pops you. This is your main content, is your lectures. Right. What I have to do is pull up your links and then control home. Just control home. Pretend you forgot home is what you need to do. Control home. Skip the content, yeah. one of 36. That's what you heard when you tabbed the first time. And if you down arrow, you're going to hear your dashboard. Dashboard, two of 36. Dashboard, but, three yeah. of 36. There's all your major navigation region, but you can also hit L to jump back down to your lectures. L, lecture one, underline gem, 210, underline two slides per page, dot PDF, 18 of 30. What do you need to do this week? This one? Uh... Uh, <laughs> good question. Okay, how about we go to your assignments and find out. Hit A for assignments. Z, Zoom, 9 of 36. Let's try A, a. announcements, <laughs> 12 of 36. A, a. assignments, okay. 13 of 36. Enter. Enter, fall 2020 chemistry 210 section 001 okay. found analytical chemistry dash yeah. Google Chrome. Assignments. You already know. You can tab to skip to main content or R for region, Assignments, right? Assignments, cold fall 2020, chemistry 210, section right. 001, so, found analytical dashboard, breadcrumbs, navigation region. 
Courses navigation menu Beautiful. navigation region. R? Main region. Okay. Main region. And then hit enter. What's that? Uh, no, so all I have to do is down arrow. Oh. Heading level one assignments. Yep, down arrow. Warning colon for improved accessibility of reordering assignments and groups. Please use the move to dialogue option found in the menu. Just down arrow, you're fine. Search for assignment. Egg. Main region. Search for assignment. Edit. Search for assignment. Okay, tab out of that. Show by. I want to see if this is a table also. Will you tab one time? Show by group. Show by date radio button Have check. Again. One of two. List with three items. List! Left parent who right parent who is Casio left parent host. L is list. So you'll notice this change. It did say main region. So you had to hit R to hit main region. And then you can hit L for list and it will pop you immediately here. And now you could do I for item, but you can also tab down into it. I will get you to the first item as will tab. List with 11 items. Chapter See? 4 H W link. Okay. And that's what you want to do when you go in here. You need to listen to what JAWS is telling you. Oh, list. Okay, next time I'm going to do L. Oh, well, I know. I comes after list. It's items in a list. Okay, so here we are. And down arrow to listen to what it's due. Do step 6 at 11.59 p.m. vertical I don't know. Five. I'm thinking maybe that's what we need to open, right? Just down here, I'll listen to all your other work. No submission for this assignment. 100 points possible. Oh, that's a lot of points. Yeah. Assignment. Link chapter 5HW. Yep. Yeah. Step 13 at 11.59 p.m. vertical bar. Mm -hmm. No submission for this assignment. What assignment? Remember, you can do I also. Oh, okay. Next one. Yeah, I, then down arrow listen, I, down arrow listen. Heading level 2 button expanded on dated assignments, toggle assignments. Did you just hit L? Use no, I hit I. Press M to move Sorry. the controlled element. Really? Shift yes. L. Let's go back up to the other upcoming assignments. Control L. Address and search bar oh, edit. There's the problem. Slash slash dot okay. Control L takes you to the URL. Less voice name equals. Okay, hold on. Just, did you do a regular I? Or did you do a regular I? Yeah, yes. something, something's off. Okay, Control L or Alt D always takes you to your URL. Uh, when you want to hit letters, it literally is only the letter. But go ahead and just tab back down into your page. Banner region. Skip the content. Yep. Same Enter. page link. Enter main region. Main yeah, region. L. Just in Click L. three items. Perfect. Items. I. Heading level two button expanded upcoming assignments. Toggle assignment visibility. Use JAWS key plus alt plus okay. M to move the control. And it said element. three items. So my guess is it's divided the items up. So this is upcoming assignments. And if you hit I, you're going to hear updated assignments. Upcoming. So there's a difference between upcoming assignments and updated assignments. <laughs> And then there's probably another I. Let's check them all out. Hit I. Level two button expanded on dated assignments. Toggle assignment. Okay, and then I again. Use JAWS. Heading level two button expanded past assignments. Okay. Toggle assignment visibility. Use JAWS. Now, key plus alt plus M to move the We want to go back up to the top of the main region. So just shift I twice. Heading, heading level two button okay. expanded upcoming assignments. Toggle assignment visibility. Use JAWS. Key plus yeah. alt plus M to move. Alt plus M. To move something, Alt M, see what happens. Alt M. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to find out if your chapters are headings. I know they're probably links. I'm pretty sure they're links. So let's actually open up your links because that's probably going to be faster. Insert F7. List dialog. Links list view. Chapter 4 HW. 1944. To move okay. to items, use the arrow keys. Now, the problem with the links is it doesn't tell you when the due date is. Okay? So you will want to tab into it, but I want you to hit enter on this because we want to take a look at your homework. Enter. Enter. Assignments colon fall 2020 chemistry 210 section 001 found analytical chemistry dash Google Chrome chapter 4HW dash Google Chrome chapter 4HW. Page has five regions, one heading and 19 links. List of three items visited link gem 210. Visited link assign assignments. And it will just read the whole page to you, but my guess is you can hit H for heading right to chapter four homework. Chapter four yeah. HW heading level one. Down arrow. List of two items. Down arrow. 
Who set six by eleven fifty nine PM? Again. Points one hundred. Again. List end. Down arrow. No content. Okay. That's pretty easy. Let's go back a page. Alt left arrow is going to be faster than going all the way back to your coursework. Back. Assignments colon fall 2020 chemistry 210 section 001 found analytical chemistry dash Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and alt left arrow. Go back another page. Back. Fall 2020 chemistry 210 notes. section 001 okay, found analytical up. chemistry. So I want you to bring up your links and hit H for lecture notes because I need to show you how to make those PDF files accessible. Link list dialog. Here. Links list view. Assignments. 13 of 36. To move the item semi L. Really? L. Lecture 1 underline 10. 210 <laughs> underline 2 slides per page. Enter. It's like, what happened to your link? <laughs> Enter. 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 Beautiful. Lecture one underline gem two hundred ten underline two slides per page okay. dot pdf colon wallet list. This is what you call a virtual viewer, which is a big pain in the backside for screen readers. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're gonna have a link that mm -hmm. is either it. There's lots of different words, and so you always have to fin figure out what the words are. If you were by yourself, you'd have to insert down arrow. You know, you'd skip to main content, insert down arrow, and listen. And you're going to hear download lecture one underscore Kim blah, 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 link. And that's what you want because you need to save this to your computer in order to make it accessible. So, okay. your, yeah, so pull up your links and hit D for download lecture one. Links list dialog, links list view, skip to content one of 20 to move D dashboard to D dashboard D download lecture one underline gem 210 <laughs> underline two slides per page enter lecture one underline gem alert alert download complete colon lecture one underline gem Before 210 you underline two slides per page dot um, Okay, so another thing is a lot of times they'll put links in these virtual viewers. So I want you to pull up your links to see if there is a link in there that you need to open like syllabus or something. So this feature look. is only available from within a virtual document, such as a page on the yeah, internet. Up. I want you to insert T and listen to where you're at. Title is lecture one underline gem 210 underline two slides ah. per page dot PDF colon fall 2020 okay. chemistry two. Both your virtual cursor and your PC cursor, so caps lock semicolon. PC cursor. And your virtual cursor, which is insert Z. Caps lock Z. Caps lock Z. I don't say anything. Okay, try your insert F7 again. This feature is only available from within a virtual okay. document, such as a page on the internet. Yeah, I hear them. Go ahead and tab into your virtual viewer. Lecture one underline gem two hundred ten underline two slides per page dot PDF. So these are all the next page button, the active navigation wow. mission. Zoom in button, the active You can't even access it. Off. You cannot even access the virtual viewer at all. Wowza. Okay. Windows E, let's go to File Explorer, hit D for downloads, please. Windows E Windows E File Explorer Items V D downloads two of six. Open. Enter downloads items view list box to move to an item press the arrow keys items view multi select list box today expanded not selected lecture one underline gem 210 underline two slides per page okay, 8 slash so 22 slash 20 23 20. you have Adobe Reader? I don't think so. Okay, we'll have to get it. I want you to hit spacebar. What it will do is it'll just open it in a browser. So I am curious. Space, lecture one me. underline gem two hundred ten underline two slides per page. It'll just open it in a browser. Enter. Blank. Lecture one underline gem two hundred ten underline two slides per page dot PDF dash Microsoft Edge. Blank. Page number left parent control plus alt plus G right parent. Okay, insert down arrow and see if it will read to you. 
1 heading level 2 course details bullet gem 219 and dash lab left parent dr stewart right parent bullet syllabus and dash posted on canvas heading level 2 foundations of analytical chemistry heading level 2 gem 210 right, hit heading let escape it will but the problem with this is you can't put notes in it you can't remark you can't do anything like that so let me show you how to turn it into a word document okay because this still is a viewer but at least you can read it I'll F4, which is only one step better. You need a F4. Downloads. Items view right? multi select list box. Today expanded. Lecture one uh, underline gem two hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the commands first, then you're gonna do it. You're gonna hit your applications key, you're gonna open with, we're gonna go find word. You're gonna give it a chance to uh, translate into a word document. Okay? Applications key. Is that F ten or Shit, uh, yeah. Caps lock F ten. Uh, shift F10. Shift F10. Sorry, Shift F10. Shift F10. Yeah. Context menu to navigate. Press okay. up or down arrow. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I want many pictures of that keyboard. <laughs> uh, a gaming keyboard. I can't imagine them needing an applications key, but I'm thinking you probably need to get a new keyboard. Okay. I no, want I my keyboard. <laughs> I know. I know. But you may get tired of doing Shift F10. Okay. Well, uh, so. Sorry, quick aside. This keyboard, it's got a lot of keys that aren't used that I can map. Like, oh, um, yeah. Oh, I know. No, no, no. All my nephews and nieces are, are gamers. I know exactly what it does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. But if you take a picture of it and I see an applications key, life will be good and I won't bother you anymore about a different keyboard. Okay. On your own, I want you to explore this. But for speed right now, I want you to hit H for open with. H, open with submenu H, Google okay. Chrome G. Now what you're going to notice is you have hardly anything here, so you have to up arrow to choose another app. Choose another app, C. Enter. Enter, leaving menus, downloads, items, view, multi-select list box, today expanded, lecture one, underline, gem, two, hundred, ten, underline, two slides per page. You're going to tap, I know, it's going to just tell you a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's going to say OK button. You're going to tab once. And Keep you, using this app other options. Apps. List box, list box, Microsoft Edge, one of one, to move to an item, press the arrow, apps. Google Chrome, one of, look for an app, and more apps, link. Yep. Enter, or space Enter, box. look for an app, and the Microsoft yeah, Store, to your two, word. Two. Internet Explorer, Notepad, Paint, three other options, Word, five of yeah. six. Yeah! Now, you're going to have to be patient, because it has to translate this image of text into text. Enter, and it's going to give you a warning that it's doing it. Opening dash word, opening dash word. Word, Microsoft ah. Word dialog word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text so it might not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contained lots of graphics. OK button to activate no. press space bar. Hit OK. You want to do Alt D to don't show this message again because you don't need this to pop up. You know this is what's going to occur. Yeah. And you just need to be patient. Don't show this message yeah. again. Checkbox check. And then you so can tap OK. Press space bar. Alt plus D. Wait, it's already checked? As soon as you do Alt D, it automatically oh. checks it. It's the okay. command. Yeah, it's the hotkey command. If you were tabbing around, it would say unchecked, and you'd have to hit space bar and check it. Okay. But when you do your hotkeys, it automatically does something for you. OK? Tab to OK. OK button to activate. Press space bar. Space bar away. Space. Opening dash word. Because you have a whipping fast computer. Lecture one underline gem two hundred ten underline two slides per page dash protected view dash word. Edit protected okay. view. Protected view. F12 for save as. F12. Microsoft Word dialog. Saving is disabled in protected view. If you trust the source of this file and would like to save, click enable saving. Cancel button to activate. Press Tab. space bar. Microsoft Word enable document. Save. Cancel button to enable saving button to and activate. Space press bar. space bar. All space. Edit. Wait. Lecture 1 underline gem 210 underline 2 slides per page dash word. Do you have a sign or a chemistry folder? No, I do not. Okay. I'm not making one yet. Okay, so do you want one? Sure. Okay, so listen to the commands first. You're going to Alt D, which don't do it until I tell you to go. You're going to Alt D to take you to your look in. Anytime Alt D does not work, Control L will. 
You're going to start typing in DOC and you're going to down arrow because documents will have populated. Okay. And you're going to hit enter and open your documents. Then we're going to control shift N for a new folder mm -hmm. and you're going to type in chemistry and hit enter on the name and enter and open it and then just alt S and you're done. I'll okay. walk through each step of the way now.